Welcome back to Jack of All Trades. Today we're going to take you through a uh, quick review of the DeWalt right angle detachment. I'll be using this for an oil change. I already did an oil change video in the previous uh, on my channel there, so if you want to check that out, you can. I'm just going to cover the gist of the oil change, but I'm going to show you how useful this tool is in tight spaces. What it does is it gives you uh, torque on an angle, at a 90 degree angle. So when you put your socket in and you're using your drill, I have a DeWalt drill or any type of drill. It gives you that leverage at a right angle. So uh, let's uh, get this tool to use, show you what it does. And then uh, this will be a quick video. As of today, uh, I actually have other things to do on the car. I'm going to do the struts, uh, brakes, flush out the ABS, uh, not the ABS, the brake system, um, put new brake fluid in, uh, change out the brake pads, the brake rotors, and uh, change out the stabilizer linkages. So we'll cut those up into different videos. So this is going to be in the garage for about four or five hours today. But first things first, I'm going to show you how to use this tool and if it's worth the money. I have a uh, carpal tunnel on my wrist. So I use power tools when I work on my car. It helps out because turning wrenches, it's hard. So uh, let's get at it. Okay, guys, I'm underneath the car. Got the car jacked up, two jack stands. Never get under the car without supporting on jack stands. Let's open this baby up and see what she can do. Like I said, I got to do an oil change today, so. Okay, here's the tool. It's pretty simple. It's got an end on it like this. You're going to hook your drill up to here and then you're going to hook your uh, attachment up to here. Now according to this, uh, let's see here. This is where our drill comes in handy. Take our tool. Go like that. And then when you... Gives me that angle I need. This might also be good on the... Uh, alternator bolt that I was trying to uh, reach a long time ago in one of the videos when I did the belt change. So let's uh, let's change this to counterclockwise to undo. Take it down to off of drill to 15. Let's put our socket on. And then we'll uh, see how this weld this works here. It's also going to be good for if you break the bolts loose with a wrench, you can go around the car doing inside the caliper bolts, everything else. You can use it to, this to twist it on real quick. So let's see how well it works. Look at that, eh? It's freaking awesome. Let's do the next one here. I think I found the tool I'm going to be using for the next couple years. Okay, so there you go. There's the tool, the wilt, easy to angle. What the fuck is going on with my light? Fuck this. Harbor Freight lights, I tell you, garbage stuff. Anyway, this is the DeWalt tool. Use this light. Uh, you can get this at any hardware store. It's a uh, I believe it's going to save me a lot of time on my angle on my wrist working around the car. So if you guys are interested, uh, let's give you a close up here. Works wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to continue with the oil change here. Uh, now that I got the dust shield off, bottom one. And I'm going to cut this video off when I uh, get to do the springs or the uh, struts air filter, in cab, uh, oil, not oil change, uh, brakes, pads and new rotors, and uh, brake bleed around all four wheels. I'll continue recording. So thank you for watching Jack of All Trades. Please subscribe, leave a comment. Like I said, this is a neat tool to have if you're working on your car and you, you got low profile and you're trying to get the bolts without having to jack it up too much. Uh, for me, it works. For you guys, it might be a waste of time, but anyway, have a good day.